all the positions with um, the yoga master. Okay, welcome to Roller. Welcome to Roller, everybody. Let's take a seat on our roller facing the front. Keep your dog off to the side. And let's go back and forth on those glutes. The glutes, although that's not what we worked during Pilates today, actually relax the hips because it lets the hips pull out. So this, we're gonna stay on this roll longer than usual because this is really where we go when we wanna get those hips shaking out. So remember that when you're trying to loosen an adhesion in your hip, you don't roll on the hip, you roll away from the hip. So you roll the front of the legs, which is what we're gonna do later, and the back of the legs, but not the, we don't go on the hip directly because that's not what helps the hips release. If you have an adhesion, sitting on it might help it come out, but actually the release of hip happens when you do uh, uh, adjacent muscle groups. There we go, I found the word, adjacent muscle groups. All right, so just a little bit more. I want you to stay here. If you're in Pilates class, definitely, because this is actually gonna help very much uh, coming out of that position uh, that we did. So we're gonna put our hands behind us and scoot above the tailbone and cross the legs over, go up and down. And here you're on the lumbar. So you're going from the tailbone to the top of the lumbar. You wanna stay in that. Yeah, good. I never noticed how roosters kind of camo to the floor. Yeah, now take it into a four. If you had it crossed over, now you're gonna take it to a four. What happens when you take it into a four, you start to get the other side of the lumbar with it. Nice. We're doing all this before we go over on the front of the legs. Good. And then switch all the way over. I call this cocktail party leg. Good, up and down. So you swing the leg all the way over. Some of you can do ankle to ankle. I can't because I have such chunky legs. And then out into four. You can feel how it's releasing those hips. You should be feeling how it's releasing those hips. Nice. So we're gonna to get to the top of the hips differently today. We're gonna to start on the side with just the, the bent feet and the feet sitting on the floor. You're gonna go into the hip all the way up to the top and all the way down, all the way up. Let those feet be your anchor, that's okay. You want your chest to the side, now, what we normally do hips for in front of the IT band, so we don't necessarily get into this very direct push on the rotation, on the rotator muscles and the parts of the hips that move the hips. We do the muscles that radiate. Okay, let's keep going up and down. So if you can't see what I'm doing, it's from this position right here, see, right? right here at the bottom of the hip, the top of the leg, to up here, the top of the lumbar. So that's where you're going. It's not a long range of motion, all right? So make sure you can see what I'm doing, even though you can't see what I'm doing. I'll do a little bit of an angle. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, this feels so good. Now, what I'd like you to do is go down to the middle of the thigh, just so when you identify the positions that we're in, take it up until it drops into that hip hollow. Right there, you can feel the hip hollow happen. It's almost like you go down. I want you to sit there, just sit in that, and then drop that knee to the floor. Good, and hold it there. And then you're going to bring it up and down, lift and lower, lift and lower. So the hip hollow is right here, right here. Good, lift and lower. You'll feel the release of the hip and the glute, the glute gets released here, right? You can feel, if you put your hand on that cheek, you can feel how it's releasing. Four more and three and two and one. Okay, let's go up and down again. This time we stay in that range of motion, hip to top of lumbar, hip to top of two lumbar. You don't go down the leg anymore. Good. Four more. Four and three and two. Now this time I want you to take it above that hip hollow, right across from your pelvis, right here. Across from your pelvis and just hold it right there. 
keeping the legs up. We're keeping the legs up for now, and they're side by side. Good. Just hold it. You drive it in. Now drop the knees down. You could twist your body a little bit. Good. Now we're going to take the hand over. The knee is going to be outside of the leg, and we're going to go up and down the leg. Now, usually you're doing the hip crease for this, but this time we're going up and down the leg. So I will get more to the front for you. Good. Up and down that leg. So it's a little bit different than we're used to doing. Good. If you need something under your knee, use your towel or your mat. Yes, four more. And three. And two. And one. And then let it sit inside that groin and then drop yourself to the floor. Relax your foot. All right, bring yourself up and you're going back on that side where we started from, right here. Right, the legs are together and you're going up and down that hip to waist. That hip to waist, good. That hip to waist. Nice, legs are together. So we stopped in the hip, we stopped at the hip dip, we stopped on the hip pelvis and now we're gonna stop a little bit higher on the lumbar. So come on down to your elbow, keep those legs forward, and go to the very top of your structure. So you're right here. You hit, you can hit a hard, you can hit a hard bone right here. That's the ASIS bone. You're right below that ASIS bone. You don't want to be on the bone because you can't do anything with the bone. But you want to be right below that bone, next to that bone. Right. Hold it right there. Now little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, and two, and one, and bring yourself up to center and reach forward. There we go. All right, so look above the tailbone again. And reach behind you. Let's go up and down that one more. Good. Feels like there's no, even in the classroom, it felt like. There was no good angle to demonstrate more because your body is blocking the things that you're doing. Four more, and three, and two, last one. And now, I'm gonna go over onto the side, right here. Legs are together, up and down the side. Again, you're in this range of motion right here. Hip to top of lumbar. So you wanna go over the hip. Make sure you go over the hip. Don't stop under it. Move my legs out of the way a little bit more. Hip to top of one more. Good. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. You've got it. Three. Good. Don't let it turn to, you want to stay on it. And then one. Now we go all the way down to the middle of the thigh. You bring it up in the first drop. And you sit there. Sit there. Okay. And drop the knees down to the floor. We're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So we're working all of that mechanism out. We're in here. Eight more. Seven, I've got it. Six, five, four, you've got it. Three, good. Two, beautiful. And one, go up and down. Okay. So these keep going up and down, that full range of motion. These are really important. Again, if you're seated a lot. So if you're doing the 90 minute alarm, if you can do that, where you get up every 90 minutes and do something. Just doing one set of this exercise might be very worthwhile for your work. All right, drop into that area that's right across from the pelvis. And drop the legs again and pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go over, I'm gonna turn to front. We're gonna go over and extend that leg nice and long. And you're gonna go up and down that leg. You don't want too close to his butt. All right, up and down that leg. Sorry, buddy, but you do steep. Yeah, you. <laughs> you just gave me a look. Five, good. Six, seven, make sure you get into that crease. I want you to feel that ASIS bone. Now sit into that pelvis or sit into that groin and drop it down. Okay, let's bring it up and back into position. Right here, full range of motion again. Those legs together, up and down. Good. How's that belly button doing? Are those shoulder blades down? Is that head nice and proud? Good. Good. Now, all the way up into that final position. Remember where I said the SS bone is? Right adjacent to that. And hold it right there. Yes. Good. Belly button in. We want to go relaxed, right? No, we really have to keep ourselves nice and, and, and um, in position. Falls up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1, and hold it right there again. Extend your legs and bring yourselves up and back to the board pole. So that was a short um, display of the exercises for this really jammed up part. But I think you can experiment with different angles. You know how to keep yourself safe by always being in Pilates position and um, trying to keep your body nice and open. Put your hands behind your head, close your hands, lift your legs up and go up and down your back. Okay. So the other stuff that we are being so hard with is our upper body. Nice. Okay, so today we're going to do a little bit of side, some side work. So keeping those um, elbows tight, I want you to go all the way over onto your side, right here, and just hold it. So the elbows below, the elbows are on the top of your roller. I'm trying to work here. Does anybody want a kissing dog while they're working out? Now I want you to extend the bottom arm with the palm forward, and then the top arm can just be on your leg. You're gonna extend your bottom leg, and your top leg is gonna be behind you on the floor as you roll up and down. You don't even have a yard. Go up to the yard. Yeah, you have a doggy door. Yeah, up and down. I'm sorry, major conversation is going on here. Four more. And three, good, two, are you helping me? And one. Now I want you to sit right across from the chest, from the adipose to the chest. So not in the armpit, down from the armpit, right here. And I want you to put your palm down and sweep the arm back and forth. You can feel how the shoulders are affected by this, right? And if you have any pain in your shoulder, you're going to have it say hello, while you're trying to work it out. Now remember when you hit an adhesion, you want to stop. Three more. And two more is your floor clean. And last one. And then put your foot behind here and go all the way down the side of the body and up into the bicep. And down and up. And down four more. Four. Good. And three. Nice. And two. And one. Let's take ourselves back to the center. Wrap our arms around our head. Go up and down for four. One, that side feels so open. Two, three, I need a new roller. And four, now take your hips all the way over to the other side. Extend that leg, extend the front leg, extend this over, extend the front leg. Have your hand on here, make sure you're forward. Go up and down. 
I think this feels amazing and I'm very shocked that I don't do it more often. Good. Yeah. There we go. Five more. Five. Four. Good. Palm is up. Three. Two. And one. Now palm is down. A little bit under, not in the armpit, but below it. Sweet. I'll feel that too. You feel that in your shoulder. Three. You get to find out what parts of your body are tight. Five. Six. Or what was just affected by the work. So if you're leaning too much on your shoulder, 10. Good. And now we go all the way up to the bicep, all the way down, all the way up, and all the way down. Good. You got it. If you were leaning a lot on your hand during the Pilates workout, you're going to feel that shoulder even more. Three more. Three. Good. Two. And one. Nice job. Bring yourself back to the center. A little lower. And a roll up and down. Oh, that upper body feels great. Nice. Lower your glutes. Eyes above, hands above your eyes. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Good. And then reach all the down. Slide up. <laughs> nice job, y'all. Let's get to our alignment. So roller on the floor, not beside it. Good. Yeah, stink bomb. Your name is stink bomb, isn't it? Mr. Stink Bomb. Mr. Stink Bomb to me. All right. Sit on the end of our sit on the end of our roller. And put our feet out in front of us and curl ourselves away. Now, don't push your back into the roller. Belly button to the spine, shoulder blades down, glutes, you pull them down the roller. Take your arms and wrap them around. Make sure your feet are in front of your knees and you're breathing. Okay, so you're breathing normally, but you're trying to feel like the roller is pushing through your spine. Your chin is knotted down, right? You are, or you're breathing deeply, moving blood down or air down the canal of your spine, addressing the kinetic linkage of your back. You only have about 30 seconds more. Yeah, you're right, this is not a whole two minutes. And I went on a little longer with the roll than I should have. It felt good. Actually, we can take another 45 seconds. Good, feel that opening. You don't wanna push your chest up, right? Although you're grabbing the roller with your back, you know, you have those shoulder blades wrapping around, wrong blades wrapping around. You're not extending your chest. Your chest is still soft. Your cage is still soft and closed. You want to make sure that you're not sacrificing one body part. Let's take a little bit more time. And you really feel the alignment here. About 10 more seconds. Okay, gang, slide on to your forward. Let your body like express outward for this. 
before you do anything, before you start jumping into action. You want everything to kind of melt out. Then you put the roller under the under the knees. You lift yourself up and above your tailbone, below your lumbar, walk the upper body up. Feet are in front of the front of the uh, knees. Take right leg to tabletop and left leg to tabletop. That means right over that roller, not toward your stomach and not away from it. We want to make sure tabletop indicates that our alignment is being met so that our back is safe. I want you to take your feet out to the side, keeping your knees together. You do a little bit of an angle here. Feet out to the side so that your knees are together. And then open the legs up and then bring it back together. And open them up again. Your knees are out to the your knees are to the center, your legs are out to the side. And then bring them back in, extend them. And then bring them together parallel. We're gonna do our little ballet position, our little routine. So I'm gonna take it here. Feet straight up, turn them out, keep them pointed, relax them. They're still gonna turn out. Lower your knees to your chest, keeping the heels together, opening them to a soft, open V, very wide, and bring them back to parallel point. Parallel point, turn out point, let the turn out, lower the knees to the chest, point it out into a big soft V, and bring it back to parallel point. Parallel point, turn out point, flex the turn out, Really feel that flex happen. Bring it down. So when you flex it, flex it slowly so you can uncurl those um, calves and bring it back to parallel point. So let's try that. Parallel point, turn out point. Now flex slowly. Flex. You feel the calves reaching? Yeah. And then bring them down, the knees down to the chest and open into V. To the, then to parallel point. Let's do it backwards. Take it out into a V, bringing the heels together, push through to the turnout, flex. Feel that? Point the turnout, rotate it back to parallel point. We're gonna do three more of those, then we'll go into our final stretch. Take it out into the big V, bring it back to those heels being hooked together with your flex, turnout flex. Take it out into the turnout, yes. Nice and slow, and then point the turn up, bring back two more of these. Take it out into the V, bring it back in. Push it all the way through. Woo, point it, and bring it back. And last time, take it out, hold it, hold it, hold it. Then bring it in slow, 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 slow. let them touch. Let's take four to push through the top. One, two, Three, four, point the turn out, and bring it back in. Drop one leg down, push the other leg away. Big inhale and exhale more. Big inhale and exhale more. And last time, big inhale and exhale. Good job. Hang on to it. Make sure this other leg is being dynamic in its positioning. Then put your hand inside your thigh and take it out to the side. Now you're gonna push down on the lower part of the thigh. Keep the cheek on the floor. That's what gives the, the stretch, that allows the stretch to come from the neck. Okay? You hold it right there. Put your hand on the roller, bring it up, grab the thigh, and take it all the way across. There we go. Your chest is facing the ceiling. I like holding on to the roller because it gives me anger. And then bring it up and bring the other leg beside it. All right, left leg down. Inhale and exhale the right leg, leg away, three breaths. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. One more time. Big one. Good. 
going to hang on it, hang on that. I'm just going to hang on to it just a little bit more. Try to get it. I can't get to the camera more. It's okay. Okay, hang on to it. Keep breathing. Nice. Now, take it out to the side. Make sure, I'm losing my roller. Make sure your leg is in, your hand is at the bottom of your thigh. Great job. There we go. Hold it right there. When you breathe, you should feel all of this flattening out, right? Good. Your hand on the roller, take it up and across. Really get as much turn as you can from that. Right, sweep the legs up. Nice, and you're back in the lifted position over your roller. Nice job. Take the legs out to the side and let them stay nice and long, nice and long to begin. All right, you ready? We're gonna swing, swing right and left. Helicopter is moving, going to lift us off the ground. Keep going. 10 more, good, nine, oh crack, eight. That's the opposite one that used to pop in class, seven, six, five, four, three, nice long legs, two, and one. And let them come to a close on their own and then soften the knees. That'll weigh them down. And then bring them in on the count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop, right foot to the floor. Bring it up, move it out, lower it down. Bottom of the feet together, recline butterfly. Take a nice deep breath here, drop those shoulder blades. And another deep breath. Close the legs front to back. Bring the arm front to back, back to front. And bring yourself up into position on your mat. Drop your shoulder blades. Let's do our head and take it over to one side. And lift up and take it over to the other side. Come back to center, put your hand behind your head, and push down very gently. And then bring your head over your tailbone. Let's go up to washing machine and bring this all together. So, nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Let's bring it up, bring it up. And down. So pretty outside. And down. You can tell I can drop the windows. And bring it in together. Thank you, everybody.